welcome back friends welcome in another video tutorial from microbiology with chakde so in this video tutorial we will going to discuss about virulence factors so before going to discuss about the virulence factors of mycobacterium tuberculosis it is necessary to understand about what is the meaning of virulence factor so in simpler words virulence factor is nothing but the weaponry of mycobacterium tuberculosis okay that means this is the weapon that mycobacterium tuberculosis will going to use to evade our immune system and to cause infection in our body so the most important type of virulence factor that are available the first one is our three halos dimycodate okay which is also known as a cot factor so this three halos dimycodate or cot factor present in the cell wall of mycobacterium tuberculosis clear this three halos dimycodate will help bacteria to evade the immune response okay and it is also glycolipid in nature and it helps bacteria to cause granuloma formation and trigger cytokine release so what is granuloma formation we will going to talk about this in our next video so just try to remember this for now and understand this for now that it is necessary for facilitating further steps inside the host cell for mycobacteria okay the second important virulence factor is sulfatides so sulfatides is another glycolipids found in the cell surface of mycobacterium tuberculosis okay and they prevent phagocyte activation and phagosome lysosome fusion and this allow mycobacteria to survive inside the cell clear so now let's talk about the phagosome lysosome fusion in details so you remember it that in previous video i have told you that the initial target for mtb that is for mycobacterium tuberculosis is our macrophages okay so now there is a special chamber inside the macrophage that is known as phagosome whenever macrophage engulf something it will be inside in the phagosome so here now our mycobacterium tuberculosis present understood now there is a another chamber inside the mycobacterium tuberculosis which is full of digestive enzyme and another important things necessary to cause destruction of the thing present in phagosome okay so for showing those digestive enzyme action it is necessary for the lysosome which is the name of this chamber to fuse with phagosome right otherwise it does not it cannot show their activity for or towards the mycobacterium present inside the cell right so that is why phagosome lysosome fusion is necessary but whenever mycobacterium tuberculosis is inside the macrophage and as macrophage is their initial target that means it is the initial residence of mycobacterium tuberculosis inside the host so it is necessary for mycobacterium tuberculosis to adapt something that will help them to survive inside the macrophage and this adaptation is known as sulfatides which is an important the although it is not only one adaptation there is another thing that is our tuberculin we will going to discuss about this so this sulfatides for now try to remember is a glycolipid which is present in the surface of the mycobacterium tuberculosis clear and this sulfatides will prevent phagocyte activation and phagosome lysosome fusion and ensures survival of the mycobacterium tuberculosis inside the host okay and the last one is catalase peroxidase which resist host cell oxidation so that is the three important virulence factor that you need to remember from mycobacterium tuberculosis one is our three halos dimycolate or cot factor which is a component which is a glycolipid component found in the cell wall of the mycobacterium tuberculosis okay and this three halos dimycolate especially helps mycobacteria to evade immune response 
and they also causes granuloma formation and cyt trigger cytokine release okay and another important component present on the surface of the cell is sulfatides which is a kind of glycolipids okay these sulfatides will prevent phagocyte activation and phagosome lysosome fusion okay and this allow mycobacteria to survive inside of the cell and lastly the catalase peroxidase okay which allow tb to resist host cell oxidation so that's it for today so today we have discussed about virulence factor so if you like this video please hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you